they're having a pre 4th of July party. Sad thing is Johnny and Canyon weren't able to go. Something just happened that I want to explain. Most people won't understand this. None of you try this at home. Mix it. Mix it up. Canyon <laughs> was hungry, and so he looked in the fridge, and this is what he found. Okay, let's try it. I don't know if he's actually gonna eat it. What do you think? Mm. Mm. You like it, really? <laughs> Who taught you these things? Hmm? French. French? <laughs> French taught you? Brancy? Pansy? Mm, no. It's candy or something. Canyon <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit too much mayo, but if you get one without too much on it, it's pretty good. So that statement Johnny just made is actually pretty hilarious where he said, there's a little too much mayo. About five years ago, we would go to Subway and About he... About yesterday. <laughs> well, he's cut back a little bit. He used to go to Subway and squirt. Actually, I guess this is the proper way to say it. We used to say, do you want a little food with your mayo when Johnny would eat something with mayo? So for him to say, it's a little too much mayo is actually pretty this. hilarious. This is pretty good. Day number two of checking my mouse traps to see if we got anything because we really need to get these mice out of here because they're gonna chew up everything. So let's hurry and check this out real quick. Hey look, I found a detective's hat, Lego hat. And they are still, well, wow. Right there is the mouse trap. But if you can see it, there's no peanut butter left. The mice ate the peanut butter, but the mouse trap didn't go off. Wow. Oh. Okay, what do we do now? I don't want to reach. I don't want to reach in there to get it because it could snap off my fingers. Oh. Well, these mouse traps aren't very. They're not very good because the peanut butter's gone and there's no mice attached. We just got to the party of the year, Shumway Show. They're having a pre 4th of July party where everyone's swimming, eating, fireworks will be later. It's gonna be awesome. Something just happened that I want to explain, and most people won't understand this, but it makes sense in my mind and in my heart and in, in the way that I believe, and it is this. What happened earlier? I colored on our or a counter. It was actually not on the counter, it was on the cupboards. And it was not just in one spot, it was in a lot of spots. It's while we were all playing games and having fun together, right? So why did you do that? I don't know. Um, so here is a big thing. So I got angry at him, right? And I said what? I said you're not going to the party tonight. So did we get to go to the party tonight? We didn't get to go. I told him I was staying here with him, so I took one for the team, whatever that means, and I decided that I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, which was stay back with him, and we weren't going to go to the party. Well, that seems harsh. This seems highly harsh. In fact, there's a large part of me that sits here and says, okay, is it harsh? What's going on? Well, a large reason, and again, this is a part that most people aren't going to understand. I don't expect anybody to understand. It's just something that I feel that needs to happen. <laughs> A big reason that he did that was because he was not getting the attention that he feels like he needs or wants. Are you getting the attention that you like to get? So he needs some one-on-one -on -one time. So I believe firmly in one-on-one -on -one time with kids, especially when we have you know lots of kids. As hard as it is, as difficult it is as it is to ditch the family and do all those things, well, we are going to spend some one-on-one -on -one time together and see if we can get Canyon the attention and some of the attention that he requires as a kid and that he feels like he's not getting so we can hopefully correct some of these things that we're having a problem with. So problem, Canyon coloring on things. Problem, parents not giving him the attention that he needs, right? Solution is? We are going to a place that's not the party. We're going to a place that's not the party, okay. So what place would you like to go? Oh, the canyon. 
Do you want to go up the canyon? <laughs> canyon wants to go in the canyon. <laughs> do you guys see how that just worked? He totally understands that we need, he needs some dad time. Yeah. So as hard as this has been, um, we've been sitting here for 45 minutes now talking about this, he and I. Um, we're going to make the best out of it. So while the others are partying, we're going to go to a different party, right? Let's go. So I was getting ready to go in the pool and on my way out from the bathroom, I was, I like, I started trying to open the door. I'm like, wait, it's locked. So I unlock it and then I was like pushing so hard. I'm like, why won't this open? And after a little bit, I'm like, it's a pole door. <laughs> and so I was pushing on the door for so long when it was a pole door. And so I was just taking a Danielle because Danielle does that all of the time. <laughs> That's the wedding song, you know that, right? Okay, we're almost to the trail. You wanna walk when we get to the trail? I just realized something super sad. That Az is at seven, worried about what other people think of him. Don't worry what other people think. We couldn't find our life jackets and so we're barbing one and it's pink with a starfish on it and Az is worried that people are gonna care because he's wearing a girl thing. No one's gonna care, buddy. Guess what? The only thing people care about is you being safe. That's the only thing people care about is that you're safe. And that's all I care about and that's all you should care about. Just be safe and have fun. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Okay? It really is sad to think that a seven-year-old would worry about other people thinking bad about him for wearing a pink life jacket. That makes me so sad. But we need to stop worrying so much about what other people think about us and just be who we're supposed to be. We just created this dam right here. See this dam? Look, there's a lake right there. Yeah. Okay, open it up. Watch what happens. Oh, you broke it. Oh, the lake is gone. So the goal is to get Jack, Danielle, and Micaiah all standing up on the paddleboard. So far, they're not very successful. Here you go. Look at this. What is that, dude? Is that a spider? No. What is it? I don't know. It's a beetle. No. I want to touch it. It's no. cool. It doesn't hurt you. See? That's a cool beetle, huh? Alright, if you have never had gooey eyes before, they are amazing. I'm trying to decide between the Islander right here. It's coconut sauce, pina colada, and kiwi, and Southern Belle. That looks amazing. Sweet cream, pina colada, and peach. I don't know, look at this. Sweet cream, pineapple, and tiger's blood. Oh my goodness. And I already had a Dr. Pepper. I did not choose my sugars wisely tonight. Great girls, what flavors are you getting? Southern Belle. German chocolate. So good. Kiwi, pina colada, and coconut cream. That's pretty good. Yeah. And you'll get one. The flavor that I got is I got berry basket which is blackberry raspberry and blue raspberry and it's also sour like it has sour patch slash wart head kind of flavoring on it it's so good
he's gonna get ma mustard and for our uh, for mine I'm gonna get mayonnaise and and ketchup for hot dog. Kenyon does not like mustard. I love mustard. Do you want mayo on it? Yes. Yes. And ketchup. Okay, ketchup and mayo coming right up. We are having hot dogs for dinner. That is what Sarah and the kids were having for dinner. That's what we're having for dinner too. And we're having just like this quiet, it's like really quiet in the house right now. And we're getting it done, right? And then maybe we're gonna do what afterwards? Watch. <laughs> Kenyon really wants to watch a movie. We will see what happens. Lots and lots of fireworks going off out right now. Pokemons are so mean. We had so much fun with Scott and Camber, and <laughs> we're tired. We're so tired. Yeah. We're ready for bed. Anyway, we love you guys so much, <laughs> and as always, you are worth it. Bye. Bye.